Welcome to the practical demonstration of the Bote grinding training for single flute gun drills. Here you can see the tool grinding machine MS01 in connection with the grinding fixture type ZS32. There are various grinding wheel designs and qualities to choose from. First insert the appropriate grinding wheels. The outer grinding wheel is used for roughing and the inner one for finishing. The grinding wheel cover must then be installed. Clamp the worn tool in the grinding fixture. In our example we grind a tool diameter of 12 mm. Here you can see the grinding instructions for the standard nose grind number 002. We start by grinding the outer cutting edge. Rotate the swivel angle to plus 30 degrees. The tilt angle to plus 12 degrees. And set the torsion angle to plus 5 degrees. Select the direction of rotation and start the machine. In an oscillating motion, grind the drill head on the roughing wheel until the wear is completely removed. The outer cutting edge is then finished with the same setting. The other settings remain unchanged. Now at the second clearance angle using the roughing wheel. Grind the second clearance angle until a cutting bevel of 0.3 to 0.5 mm is formed. To grind the inside cutting edge, set the swivel angle to minus 20 degrees. The tilt angle to plus 12 degrees. and set the torsion angle to minus 5 degrees. Grind the inside cutting edge. Set the caliper gauge to one quarter of the tool diameter. To check the position of the tool tip using the depth gauge. The last tenths are also ground with the finishing wheel. To grind the oil chamber next, set the swivel angle to minus 30 degrees. Maintain the tilt angle. And set the twist angle to plus 55 degrees. With the machine switched off, the direction of rotation is now changed. Start the engine. Now grind the oil chamber surface to the intersection of the D half surface. To enable you to attach the clearance angle to the tool tip, set the swivel angle to 0 degrees, the tilt angle to plus 25 degrees and set the torsion angle to 0 degrees. Gently grind the surface. The aim here is that the clearance angle surface ends in the middle of the cutting chamfer. Unclamp the tool for the last operation. Add a hand chamfer at plus 75 degrees starting at the oil chamber along the circumference. Make sure that the cutting corner is not touched. The aim is to have the chamfer drop evenly around the tool. The tool is now ready for use again. Thank you for your attention.